Research says that when you have children who are at risk, and even those who are not at risk, the earlier the intervention, the more you're going to be able to do for that child. Science tells us that 85% of core brain structure is formed in the first three years of life. Uppercase or lowercase? With this in mind, the United Way of Miami opened its doors to the Center for Excellence in Early Education in 2007. Well, we have been uh, doing a lot of research in the early childhood field, and the past 20 years have been a very productive uh, time for us. So we have learned a lot about brain development and how is it that we need to um, interact with children and what kind of spaces we need to provide for children so they develop at the, at, at the potential that they need to. And um, so that's what we have done and that's the research that we bring to practice when we design the programs that we're going to be working with and when we think about the kind of trainings that we're going to provide for the community. The goal of the center is to educate, demonstrate and advocate. It's the only program of its kind that strings together all three elements. So we educate the adults in the, um, that are working with children or that are in the lives of children. We demonstrate how is it that it looks like when we have a center the way that we have it. And then we advocate by allowing the community to come in and visit and have conversations around what is it that we need to do for children so they can develop at the rate that they need to and to their highest potential. Education experts, universities, and top training institutions come together to provide parents and early care professionals the tools and resources they need for a child to succeed. The center is also a hub for professional development. Each year, at least 5,000 adults receive training through the Center of Excellence. They, in turn, directly impact the lives of more than 80,000 children. We were lacking in the community a place where people could come and see what best practices look like. And then you're going to have our surroundings and the materials that we have used, which are a demonstration to those who are either building new centers, they are participating in centers and are in need of creating spaces for children and so forth. The Center for Excellence also houses a demonstration school. We have 116 children in the school. The student-teacher ratio changes uh, by age group. So we have what we call our infant and toddler suite, and that is for children from the two month all the way to 36 months. And these children are eight children in a group with three caregivers. Early care professionals and parents can visit the school to observe and learn best practices through the use of one-way glass. One of those best practices includes a dual language program. One of the um, most important parts of our program is that we're a dual language program. And that means that we're aiming for children to learn a second language and to maintain what we call the heritage language, which is the language spoken at home. So in every classroom, you're going to see English and Spanish interacting uh, at the same time. And we have in every classroom a teacher that speaks Spanish and a teacher that speaks English. And the day is divided in English and Spanish. It's these best practices that have earned the Center for Excellence accreditation from the National Association for the Education of Young Children. If we can assess them and if we can do an intervention that is going to uh, end in that child moving out of the deficit or the weakness that they had before, then we're helping that parent and that family and that child. I don't think that there is a center in Florida that has taken all of the components together and have planned for the components to interact in the way that we have done in United Way. Helping a child succeed before they step foot into the classroom is what United Way of Miami hopes to accomplish.